Conisbrough Castle is a 12th century castle located in Conisbrough in South Yorkshire. And the present day remains are dominated by the 97 foot high circular keep, which is supported by six buttresses. In the mid 1990s, the keep was restored with a wooden roof and two floors being rebuilt. Today, audio and visual displays now help to reconstruct a view of life in a medieval castle, while a history of the site is documented in the adjacent visitor centre. The building is considered one of South Yorkshire's primary tourist attractions and sees in excess of 30,000 visitors per year. Today, it is managed by English Heritage. The name Conisborough, according to Wikipedia, is derived from the Old English Sinigsburg, meaning the defended burg of the king, and suggests the area once belonged to one of the English kings prior to the Norman conquest of 1066. The area is strategically placed on one of few historic crossings of the River Don and has been home to a fortification since at least 600 AD. At the time of the Norman Conquest, the manor of Conisborough was held by King Harold, who was defeated at the Battle of Hastings in 1066 by Duke William of Burgundy, also known as the Conqueror. The current castle was probably built on the site of an earlier Norman castle, built by William de Warren, who was the first Earl of Surrey and son-in-law of William the Conqueror. Later on, it was the property of Richard of York, the one who was executed in 1415. By the reign of Henry VIII, the castle was in a dilapidated state. In the survey of 1537, the royal commissioners found that the castle was already a ruin, and from the description in the survey, it seems that most of the damage seen today had already occurred. In Sir Walter Scott's novel Ivanhoe, Konigsberg Castle is based on this castle here in Konigsberg. In the novel, Konigsberg is the Saxon fortress and the keep is described in some great detail. Later on, the castle featured in the film version of Sir Walter Scott's Ivanhoe and with its many reminders of the golden age of knights in armor, it makes for a great day out. There's a place I could crawl over the fence if I wanted to, if I was full of mischief. And I'm it's, sure uh, that uh, there are lots of those so inclined. <laughs> <laughs> but you still couldn't get up to the top because the door to the... Uh, oh, to, to the tower is to the closed. the tower is still closed and locked. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, but, yeah. The... Pretty remarkable, though, though structure that was here, that is still here. The view from the top is absolutely stunning. I'll bet, I'll bet it is. They, uh, they really, I mean, they picked out the highest point of land and had a great 
Well, they also picked it out as defensible. Right, exactly. No, you yeah. want the you want the high point. But it was defense, might. It was to send a message. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in charge, we're boss, and when we want taxes, you will pay. Otherwise, we have some rooms reserved. Well, we, uh... Without a view. Something else that's remarkable is the, you know, these slits and these stones up here up must have been something for drainage. Slits. Uh, they built. The, you can see the crevice in the stones. Uh, the uh, tr well, they built a trench like at the monastery yesterday, mm -hmm. where they had uh, the drainage ditches built in. You know, for uh, sanitary purposes. For well, for bringing water in and water out. When we go to Bolzovic castle which, oh you won't anyway they had indoor loos mm -hmm. hmm. I fed him a lot of energy foods while I had him see and I'm just gonna get my uh, I'm just gonna get my camera Father Bush, who's seen here with Father Stephen, visiting from America, they were very taken by this castle. Of course, this was the first castle that Father Bush had encountered, and so he was so excited that he thought it would be a grand idea to have a second collection to buy it and transport it and rebuild it in Nicholasville, Kentucky. Fortunately, the idea never did get off the ground. <laughs> Aren't we glad? <laughs>